disorders related to the rheumatic diseases we will talk about gout ah uh, you know gout is one of the metabolic disorders as well as it comes in the rheumatic disorder all of you to please have a pen and a copy with you to note certain important points which you have to see later on and from your <clears throat> dictionary or from your book so when i say the metabolic disorders so what are those which come to your mind like diabetes hemochromatosis dyslipidemia and you should also add a few more by yourself then about the rheumatic disorders number of diseases are there Uh, like uh, <clears throat> uh, this uh, gout is there in Wikipedia, and then rheumatoid arthritis, rheumatic fever, uh, then ankylosing spondylitis, osteoarthritis. SLE or lupus systemic lupus erythematosus polyarthritis nodosa etc we have to concentrate on gout you are all familiar about gout you know that there is Uh, over production of this uric acid or uh, there is under excretion of it so the normal level of gout you should know is 2 to 7 milligram per 100 milliliter so even if this gout this high level of uric acid in the form of urate crystals or mono, monosodium <coughs> urates the crystals they are there even if they are asymptomatic 
they must be treated. So, for the reason, these crystals, they deposit, I mean, they are not soluble, but soluble. So they deposit in different parts of the body. So the main organs which are susceptible to it are like the kidneys, where they are damaged, the kidneys are damaged, and uh, joints, various joints, they are also damaged due to the presence of these uh, urates over there. So even if they are asymptom, there is rise of this uric acid which is asymptomatic, it must be treated. As regard the uh, incidence of uh, this gout is uh, more in the males, gender-wise, Say seven people are there and the male or the one woman is there. So it's different. And among its reasons why the uric acid is high, in 90% of the cases, it, it's primary, genetic, idiopathic, and the uh, it's familial, you can say different words for it. So it is uh, <clears throat> in 90% of it. And rest of the, say, 10% are the secondary causes. You know uric acid is the end product of uh, hypoxanthine, which converts to xanthine hypoxanthine, xanthine, then trioxypurine. So the, the food which is high in proteins, so more uric acid will form. That's to be avoided. So diet control is the first thing about it. And then another thing is the, say, the obesity. The obesity also related to a number of other, <clears throat> they are also good, which is to be controlled. And another well known cause of this high level of uric acid or urate crystal is the alcohol ingestion. Then inflammatory properties. I mean, they are taken, these, I mean, the uric acid, uric crystals taken by the, in the synovial fluid by the uh, leukocyte or, or the cell <coughs> over there. And uh, then inflammatory mediators, they are released. So let me show you about that different uh, slide over here about uric acid. So you have, what's your approach? I mean, you, to suppress the, to suppress the production of uric acid, their well-known drug for that is allopurinol, a double -L -L allopurinol. Or, to excrete it more from the kidney. And the second way is to excrete it more. So by one way or the other, you have to control it after the diet, after food, after the weight control, as we call ingestion. You have to, uh, <clears throat> if at all, those are not effective, you have to start with the wind. So, production is, well-known drug for that is allopurinol, 
hello Pirinal. And as concerned the Eureka Suret drugs, I mean Uric acid is more excreted <coughs> from the kidneys. Number of drugs you have already gone through <coughs> as uh, NSAIDs. NSAIDs. Number of drugs which they have got uh, this effect more excreted, uric acid is excreted. So this is, then another approach is to treat an acute attack for which acute attack, these uh, steroids, glucocorticoids, they are used and then certain these uh, NSAIDs like endomethacin or they are uh, another drug of historic importance you should know it is the colchicin colchicin we will talk about these drugs coming to the picture over here you see usually there is one scenario like that I mean a person uh, took very high protein diet and after two days suffered from swelling of uh, some joint especially the big toe is in model over here this first slide here you see the big toe it is inflamed and in the x-ray monosodium urate crystal they are they are seen over there so the damage and <clears throat> they are engulfed by say macrophages and uh, mediators like uh, prostaglandins, interleukins and they are released and they damage the cartilage, they damage the, uh, the bone has eroded and then so different shape is this <clears throat> disturbed giant is damaged then the next one here again synovium here on damages over there and it's just like a first one so in acute case you have to use those medicines in chronic cases different approaches there <clears throat> you have to take this allopurinol to avoid its <clears throat> formation. Here is one other picture. One tap is shown over here. So uric acid is produced in the body and its level is controlled and excess uric acid it is lost in the urine a simple so you have to, what you have to do in case of gout, you have to suppress the production or to <clears throat> enhance excretion of the. Then we come to the next one. Uh, maybe this is one approach. Uh, different uh, groups are there. First one, already told, colchicin. Uh, this is a, here you see IN is at the end, so it's uh, alkyl, it's natural one. You know what's alkyl, just note down. And again, see the fresh students, those 41 uh, who joined late. <clears throat> it's for them. So it's one plant called Chico Martinella, I'll tell you later on, because the drug. <clears throat> was not that uh, not given for a good time because of its toxicity. Here you see <clears throat> the Eurekosurix. Well known example given over here is propenicid. About the propenicid you were told previously that uh, this was uh, initially 
prescribed to enhance or prolong the effect of penicillins years back penicillins so this propenicillin is secreted and reabsorbed so the penicillins they are also secreted in the kidney and reabsorbed so what does it uh, what the propenicillin is doing about it is certain that in small doses it conserves <clears throat> uric acid and high doses <clears throat> they affect the reabsorption so the reabsorption of this uric acid is very important and uh, so <clears throat> the when the reabsorption is inhibited so the <clears throat> uric acid level body pool back will go down similar example <clears throat> while comparing with benefit with aspirin aspirin also in small doses uh, it conserves uric acid at secretory level and uh, <clears throat> on other side the uric acid is excreted at the uh, a level of reabsorption to interspring high doses they interfere with the uh, reabsorption of the uh, of the urates so they have this effect propenicillin was initially uh, used to prolong effect as previously told to prolong effect of penicillin number of penicillin you will be taught later on number of penicillin and no so penicillin also uh, <clears throat> used for the uh, another group of antibiotics introduced uh, to send <clears throat> to decades back uh, that's uh, those are the cephalosporins cephalosporins so even because they have structural similarity with penicillins so <clears throat> they are also used to prolong their effect and the third group over here initially you were told about it it is the allopurinol it is xanthine oxidase <clears throat> inhibitor so the initially the hypoxanthine has converted to xanthine and later on trioxypurine uric acid is formed so this allopurinol is itself converted to another active substance so we saw so in bitter of xanthine oxidase so xanthine oxidase it acts at two levels it will be shown in next in next <clears throat> next slides so the uric acid formation that's inhibited about another classification is there according to the uh, onset of disease or its prolongation for acute attack it's written that NSAIDs are given like into methasen previously told and uh, also some other drugs which are no not used at the <coughs> phenyl butazone phenyl butazone so phenyl butazone is not used because of its toxicity and other drug related to that phenyl butazone is sulfin butazone uh, sulfin butazone we will talk later on for acute attack and then uh, another thing over for the acute attack of gout is glucocorticoids so they will also be told you <clears throat> about in case of, at the time of endocrine pharmacology glucocorticoids you know they inhibit the enzyme 
Just can you please recall which enzyme is inhibited in inflammatory process? It is phospholipase A2. By that way, for inhibition of phospholipase A2, <clears throat> Arachidonic acid is not poured. This picture will also be shown later on. Arachidonic acid. You know from arachidonic acid, different uh, substances are, are formed, which are mediators of uh, this inflammation uh, at different levels. So these glucocorticoids, well known glucocorticoids, prednisone, used for this, prednisone. It's used for this, well, well, and they have got, you know, um, uh, <clears throat> I tell you at different places that some of the drugs, they have got dramatic effect. So glucocorticoid, they have also this dramatic effect. And uh, so we will <clears throat> deal with it later on. For chronic gout, for chronic gout, here again, on your, there are three groups, xanthine uh, oxidase inhibitors. So, allopurinol you have been told, then uricosuric drugs, endomethacin, number of drugs, you and I said they have got this uricosuric effect, then colchicin is very, uh, some unique medicine. Here, colchicin is first covered over here. So, Sritan, as I mean, the literature is first line drug for acute gout. Colchicin was the primary treatment for many years. It remained for pharmacodynamics. This also drug has got dramatic, dramatic effect. It relieves pain and inflammation. Pain and inflammation, something very important when there is giant is, I mean, inflamed, you know, <clears throat> mobility that's disturbed. And local raised temperature so pain and inflammation is traumatic effect. The drug, <clears throat> special name given to it is gautin arthritis. Onset is in 12 to 24 hours. And though no meta metabolism of the uric acid is involved over here, as you said, uh, or the excretion of urates. So it's something of diagnostic value, no down. Number one, diagnostic value. The drug is of diagnostic. Few other drugs also be there in your mind of they are of they are of diagnostic value. So it is one of them. If the pain is relieved, remission it means uh, it's uh, the giant pain was due to this uh, real level of uh, uric acid. The structure given over here a colchicin, natural substance, the natural substance, colchicin. And the plant name of the plant you should write on, which are your external moss, as you see. Your senior class has given 100% result. Inshallah, you will also give it. Don't worry about that <coughs> delay of the 41 students. Inshallah, by the grace of Allah, you will do it. Not only this, I mean, it's my experience that some of our students, no position in the first two <coughs> profs, and then they got position in the university. So Inshallah, it's for extra mass to the student called Chikum, is obtained from one plant called Chikum Autumn Nail, Autumn you know the word autumn, Fiza. 
Well, you see, I mean, how is it acting? Colchison. The selective inhibitor. Previously, it was written it is a mechanism of action is not known. No, they have a certain approach how the colchison is acting. Selective inhibitor of microtubule assembly. Selective inhibitor of microtubule assembly thus reduces leukocyte migration. Leukocyte at the site of inflammation, I mean, these uh, <coughs> cells, they migrate. And then phagocytosis of uh, the uroids, you see. Macrophages, they also appear there. Second, I prove how it is. It inhibits the formation of leukotrienes before. You know, leukotrienes, they are inflammatory substances. Mediators, that what? Uh, there are two things. Then, coming to the colchison, why the colchison toxicity is there? It's written, it's due to inhibition of tubulin polymerization. The mitotic process, mitotic process that is uh, inhibited, inhibited tubulin polymerization and cell metastasis. The leukotriene B4 is inflammatory mediators. So far, this substance it attacks phagocytes and activation is there. Further, it will result in inflammation, joint inflammation. Given, I mean, previously we have seen in chronic is also written, but here in ESC is written for the acute gout. Colchison is more specific in acute gout than the NSAs. Although it's written over here, but not that very much used, not, uh, not so available, which I replaced it because of its uh, troublesome. And I could go out then the NSAs. NSAs, which I replaced it because of its troublesome diarrhea. Over here, not down diarrhea, it is the bloody diarrhea. I mean, blood is there in the stool sometimes. So it's some is a problem with this colchison. If bloody diarrhea is there, then the medicine should be stopped. Here it's given for acute. Small dose, very small dose of the medicine is there. It's given repeatedly uh, to the <coughs> level when the pain is relieved. So, so special therapy is there for colchison. Next thing written as prophylaxis of recurrent episodes of gouty and arthritis. I have yet to see person using colchicine for the prophylaxis. Mostly people they are using allopurinol. You may, you may already be, I mean, your elders may be taking it if they have this problem of uh, high uric acid level. And you know it's deposits, uric acid deposits in different parts of the body, two of all, I mean, certain other places they are active. <clears throat> Special indications of colchicin in, in addition to NSAIDs. Uh, the one is acute Mediterranean fever, acute Mediterranean fever. Then, also written, I mean, it is for sarcoid arthritis. I mean, these are additional indications for colchicine. So the main one is they are acute <coughs> gout. And also the hepatic cirrhosis. You're all familiar, you have heard of the cirrhosis, hepatic. Again, toxicity of colchicine, diarrhea, 
we are already in analogy and movement is also very important. And you should also remember this nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, even with the other medicines. Then, and the toxicity, number of other things are also written. So it should be avoided. I mean, it has got so many toxic effects. Here you see, on one side, hepatic cirrhosis, which is given for that person. On another side, it is the toxic effect. Then a renal failure, acute renal failure is another toxic effect. Then disseminated intravascular coagulation and fish, seizures or fish. Intravenous oil should be used partially because of increase. Yes, this bone marrow depression is an, also an important <clears throat> toxic effect of the colchicine.